Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm on Kahoot. Uh, let me show you something uh, that I think may be helpful, and that is how to share a Kahoot with your students so they can play around. So there are two ways of doing this, and you don't want them to edit. So let me show you how that's done. So first thing, I'm going to go into my account okay right here and click on share so i'm logged in as a teacher and i'm sharing notice i'm going to share a kahoot right here click on it and then it's going to open up my kahoots so i've got a few of them uh, let's try this one click on share once again click on it and notice i've got all these options i can share on facebook on twitter in the Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, and the cloud. All right, so uh, I can also copy notice here. Okay, I can copy the link. So um, let's see what happens when I share it in on Twitter, for example. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to copy it just so I can show you what it looks like. So I'm going to copy it and go into another browser so I can show you how that goes. So um, let's go into Google. I'm on a Mac, so it may look a little bit different if you're on a PC, but it's the same thing. Just All right, so uh, let me just um, add that to my window here. Okay, add the link, there it is, and then return, and then it's going to open up on here. So here we are. Oops, let me go back here. Okay, so I need to sign in. I'm going to sign in as a student, so let me do that. So before I sign in as a student, your students may not have accounts, but they don't have to. They can actually play as guests. So. A lot of students don't like, especially young learners, don't like to create accounts. So here we go. I can just go in, here's the classic, and play the game as a guest. Ready to join? All right. So there it is. Uh, they're going to need players because they can't really play by themselves. So um, lock the game to prevent more players so let's do that see if we can play ourselves Nah, we can't so uh, let's open it up so anyone can actually they can wait you can wait for players somebody might just find it but i suggest um, you get your students playing together and that's it hope this has been of help but before we go let's see what it looks like when they're in as students so i'm in as a student and notice what happens when you share it and they're in as students okay notice right now they get all the answers and that's where the problem comes in you don't want them you want them just to play not to uh, go to show answers all right so let me show you how that can be done so that your students don't for example edit and do other things besides play. The only way to avoid that problem, let me go back to, is to assign it. In other words, you're not sharing it, you're assigning a challenge. So let's see how that goes. I'm going to go into play, which is right here. By the way, it's still public, okay, but um, they won't be able to do anything with it. They won't see the edit or the answers. So you go into play, click on play. And then instead of um, going into the teach or the share, you assign it. Now notice you go into assign and then you decide how long it's going to be. Okay, I've, I've set it for two days, but it's up to you. Okay, so you can set the date. Okay, this is the date. So um, you can have until Monday or Tuesday or whatever, and then you save it. And then what you're going to do is copy over here, copy the URL. Okay. 
and then that's it. Don't forget the game pin, you need to get that as well. Notice I'm paying, so I have a thousand players, you might have less. Or you can share it in the same places. And that's it. So uh, let me show you how that's done. I've copied this. Okay, this is my game pin. Going to go in as a student. So here I am as a student. Let me do that. So here I am as a student. Going to add the link. Okay, that's what I shared with the students. Okay, ready to get, set, go. Ready, that's it. Okay, so there it is, your nickname. And then they can play on their own. And I think that's uh, what you'd like them to do. Not as a team, but on their own. And notice it's open for three days, 18 hours. I said that's up to you. And then that's it. So they can, okay, there's a name. And they can play around. All right, hope this has been of help. There is the quiz, and they're ready to play. If you have any questions, let me know. Add them to the comment box and subscribe to my channel.